In an earlier video I showed two possible graphics cards upgrades for the Dell Optiplex 7010. Those were GTX 1050 Ti and Radeon RX 460 or 560. In that video I also used the stock CPU which is Ivy Bridge i5 and I used the stock power supply. In this video I am going to upgrade the power supply and install a more powerful RX 470 graphics card. I am also going to install an Ivy Bridge Xeon which has hyper threading and a little higher clocks. Then I'm going to run some benchmarks and we'll see if that combination makes sense. So I've removed the stock CPU and cooler and I'm going to install this Xeon and a little bigger heatsink which I found. The CPU installation was straightforward and the heatsink seemed to fit perfectly. Because Dell uses proprietary fan headers I had to use the fan from the stock heatsink. You can also get an adapter if you want to use another fan. The graphics card is an Arax 470D which I got from Taobao and restored and swapped the fan for a new one in another video. The most common problems with this 7010 are that with longer graphics cards the SATA ports and USB 3.0 header get blocked but that can be worked around with this kind of USB 3.0 extender and angled SATA cables. For even longer cards than the one I'm using, you would also need to remove the HDD gauge, which you can do by breaking some rivets in the front and bottom of the case. I got this computer from a company that's at least supposed to be re furbishing these pieces but there wasn't much done to this one. CPU thermal paste had not been changed and the CMOS battery was actually empty. The power supply is from another ASUS OEM PC. It is a 500 watt power supply. This time I'm also going to install two cheap RGB fans. SSD prices seem to be on the rise due to recent events but I managed to find this used Intel SSD for 
under 20 euros locally. Next I'll install the graphics card. I'll test with voltage meter and I'll see if this card would indeed have been too much for the stock power supply. I'm installing an additional fan on the side panel in exact same way as I did with the last Dell 7010 build. When this fan is installed, I am done with the insides of this build and it needs some cleaning. Next, I tried to clean it with isopropyl alcohol. There was a lot of sticker residue from multiple stickers and some of it was almost impossible to get off. After cleaning the sticker residue the best I could, it is time to install Windows on the SSD and check the performance. Prime 95 and MSI Combustor got both CPU and GPU temps up to 79, of which both are perfectly fine. Power consumption was at highest over 260 watts, so the stock power supply could indeed not handle this graphics card. In Shadow of the Tomb Raider I am surprised how much better performance this CPU and GPU combination can give compared to the i5 and RX 460. The game is perfectly playable even in cities when graphics are set to low and you don't even need to remove the shadows. I run all the same benchmarks at the same settings so you can compare to my earlier 7010 upgrade video if you want. In F1 2018 and GTA 5 the performance was ok, even with the RX 560 but I still included both of those benchmarks for comparison.